them do at home. We as the also's uh, students go gourmet. Simple gourmet for every day. Available on Amazon.com and Barnes and Noble. I'm Sophia Khan. And I'm Ellen Bass. Dr. Ellen Bass, my aunt. And today we have a little French adventure for you oui. at home. Hello. Tell us about it. This summer I was in France and in Lyon happened upon a small little cart on the street. He wasn't making hamburgers, he wasn't making hot dogs, he was making crepes. Oh, the French, French crepes. Crepes. Mm -hmm. And we were mesmerized by a French master making crepes. And we're going to show you that clip in a second, and then we're going to return to the kitchen. And we show you how easy it is to make crepes at home. It's simple, affordable, quick, delicious. Oui. Alors, Stay à, tuned. à bientôt. Now we're ready to make crepes at home. What you want to get is a nonstick pan about this size and heat it over medium heat. Put one teaspoon of butter in there and let the butter slide all the way around. And then we've got our crepe batter over here, which is ready to go. Sophia, what's in our crepe batter here? One cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of flour, three lightly beaten eggs, a pinch of salt and an eighth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, as well as one tablespoon of canola oil. Very, very simple stuff you'll have in your pantry already. And it's like a pancake batter, but a little bit thinner. And what you want to do is we have found that a quarter of a cup is a perfect measurement for a crepe for this size pan. And immediately what you want to do is to spread the crepe batter all the way around. It is mesmerizing, indeed. So we don't have all those fancy accoutrements that they have at a French crepe cart, but this is what we've got. Now, what we're going to do is let it sit on this side for about two minutes, and we're going to slowly start lifting the sides, and when the sides lift off, we're going to flip it, let it cook for two minutes on that side, and voila, you've got a beautiful crepe. Once you see the sides start to lift off like this, get a nice thin spatula and scooch yourself underneath there, and flip it over. Two more minutes, and you're done. Alors, it is time to assemble the crepes. Okay, so this is one of my favorite go-to sets of ingredients. We have portobello mushrooms that are lightly sautéed with some shallots and some thyme. I put the sprigs of thyme in there, just like in our quiche video uh, when I made the Gruyere country French quiche that I couldn't find a name for. So you don't need to, these have already infused the flavor, so you don't need them. In your quiche in your crepes, sorry, another French delicacy, except for as decoration if you want. So you can just dump these right inside. You can also assemble this after you flip the crepe on the stove. And we have some lovely Gruyere cheese that's been sitting out for a little while. And then roll it up however you like. There you go, a French crepe, ready for lunch, dinner, or midnight snack. I'm going to make a fabulous French combination. I'm using brie, and I'm going to use some ham, and then I have a beautiful sauce to pour on top that I just made, and it's basically a bechamel sauce with sautéed mushrooms, and a bechamel sauce is equal parts of flour and butter and milk. I'm going to roll this now, like this, and then I'm going to take my beautiful sauce, which you can see here, with the mushrooms, and I'm going to drizzle it on top. And you've got a beautiful, delicious, very, very decadent crepe. Check out our instructional DVD for how to make bechamel sauce. And finally, we have our last crepe of the day, a sweet crepe, which is delicious after dinner or in the morning or whenever you like, any time of day or night. We have a recipe for bananas, foster, Nutella crepes in the cookbook. This is a little bit similar, but a little bit simpler. We're just going to slather some beautiful Nutella, chocolate hazelnut spread, on the crepe. And you can warm it up beforehand if you like. It's a little bit messy, as you can see, but cooking is fun and messy, so let's just have a ball with it. I'm going to get chocolate all over my fingers, and I don't even care. Um, 
It's, the crepe you see is very delicate, so however much Nutella you want to put on it, just go for it, go crazy. Normally, I just take the Nutella jar and put a spoon in it and run away somewhere where no one can find me, but since we're sharing for friends and family, I figure I might as well be generous and dump all the Nutella right on here. Isn't that a beauty? Now you can pair it with any number of delicious fruits. We like to pair it with uh, strawberries. That's a very classic combination. So we have some freshly striped, uh, freshly sliced, not striped, beautiful strawberries right here for you. And just roll it on up. And douse it in some powdered sugar. Everybody's laughing at me. Hey, I'm having a ball here. You guys can laugh off camera and I will take this and have a ball. Voila! That's all for today. We've got Nutella fingers. I'm ready to go. Me too. Okay. Well, for more of our recipes, check out studentsgogourmet.com. Check out both of our blogs, Doc Ellen Cooks and Soap's Gastro Lab. And check out our YouTube series for more demo videos. Happy cooking! Thank you.